What's going on guys? I have a big mail day with some of my biggest, as far as money is concerned, my most expensive pickups in a long time. So uh, obviously a lot of Griffey autos and stuff are in a couple hundred dollar range and stuff. But I went, some old, went for some old school with a couple new ones. And some of those 90s cards right now are selling outrageous. They're single selling for two grand. There's jersey cards selling for $600. And that's the type of stuff I'm kind of targeting right now. So anyway, I will start uh, a little bit smaller. <clears throat> Got a couple Hunter Pence cards. A couple are not in sleeves because the way they were shipped, they need repackaged. And that's what I'm about to do after I show this mail day. So that quad out of 99, obviously I have multiples of those. You've seen those. And I put that whole gold set together out of 99 from all the rookies. That's my favorite rookie class so, in baseball. And two out of five. I'm exquisite. Clean auto, though. Bought this one. I actually got this for Matt, Matt Westcott. I've, gave, I've given him a shout out before. Uh, for being another Marshall guy and another collector, and he's actually a big Aaron Dobson collector as well from his rookie stuff. So I'm actually sending this to him. Uh, it spells out Thundering Herd, and he needed an H for Herd. So I bought it just to uh, give it to him. So sending that his way. This is from my Hall of Fame PC. Really happy to get this. I wanted an on-card autograph, honestly. Um, but obviously he's deceased. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. He died very young. Gary Carter is deceased, but he's a Hall of Famer. Um... I like to get, when I can, from my Hall of Fame collection, an auto or a game used for the guys that are really rare. But if it's somebody like this that's a little newer, so to speak, more modern guy, I like to get an auto and game used in the same card, if one exists. And then my preference is to have an on-card auto with the piece. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't find that, at least the last few weeks I've looked. So I grabbed this. It's the best-looking card I've seen. And they run, you know, you can get for $40, you can get a very nice auto relic of him. So... Not bad. Got this patch out of 10. Panini. It's the cracked ice deal. There's a numbering. So, Griffey patch. There were some better patches, but I bought the first one just to make sure I got one. They're stitching in white. Uh, I could have got like a three color patch, but it actually sold out uh, cheaper after mine. But it's fine. I just wanted to make sure I got it. Get this autograph from Heroes on card. Griffey. I may possibly already have this card. So I bought this one on the fly. I do that sometimes when it's about to end and I'm randomly searching Griffey's before I can check my checklist. So if I have this, that will be available. That'll make my fifth duplicate Griffey Jr. autograph I have available right now. And then this pretty big card, that'll cost you three to four hundred dollars. Sign of the times, it's a 1998 Upper Deck Retro on card autograph. Pack pulled. It actually came in those uh, lunch boxes. And I did not have that one. I did before the flood. I think there's a numbered version too. I'm not positive about that. I know a lot of the early, like late 90s cards, the early autographs and packs and stuff, when they started getting hot, uh, there was usually a regular version, which is very short printed, like this is short printed. And then there's a hand numbered version sometimes. Although there's many, many fakes out there. So you need to be really careful buying those of any player. So be careful with hand numbered. And hand number doesn't mean the athlete hand number to me either. So it just depends. Sometimes they did, sometimes they did not. But uh, happy to add that to my collection. Once again, almost, what's it been? 11 years later after the flood. And then this huge card. They've been selling three to 500 bucks. I was waiting for a three color patch only since it's out of 10 from the basketball immaculate. And actually baseball immaculate's about to come out. There's the patch. Baseball Immaculate releases within a month on Card Auto. This was the subset. If you're asking why he's in a basketball set, this subset had some other major stars from different sports. I think there's like Wayne Gretzky and Larry Bird. Uh, obviously, there's a, you know, Larry Bird's a basketball player, so uh, maybe Sid the Kid or something like that was in it. But anyway, just some other stars from that set. And then this is unopened right now everything else already opened to make it easy and this last one obviously the retro autograph and that immaculate were pretty big cards so this should be a few major purchases from one single seller whereas these cards i just showed you were all from different sellers so that box over there I believe I bought four cards off the same seller. Maybe it's three. Yeah, it's three cards for just over a thousand dollars, like a thousand eighty dollars or something like that. Basically, eleven hundred bucks shipped. 
because it was insured. So 1100 bucks for three cards. And two of these are replacements for cards damaged in the flood. And one of them is completely new that I've never owned. So let me start with the one I have owned before. Or have not owned, sorry. Shoot, hang on a second. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> I have not owned this one. Very, very nasty jersey patch of Griffey Jr., obviously. The Reds version. Info on the back there. It's 2001 or 2000. I don't know. I think it's 2000. And then this I have owned. Lost in the Flood. Man, it's so sick in person. Love it. And I love that the old school cards like this, they actually put patch so you would know. Because there's a game jersey, then there's a game jersey patch version. And old school was the better way. And $400 is pretty damn accurate. 1999. Let's there. Let's see the patch there. Pull it out a little bit past this tape here. There you go. You see the aqua or turqu turquoise uh, uni there. I'll throw that bad boy in a magnetic, so I'm very happy about that one. And then this, which everybody should know, is the first ever jersey card in a baseball pack. This was the first set ever to have game used cards. However, the hockey set, the same year, the same set for hockey, released before baseball. So they actually had the first game used. This is the first game used baseball card. GJ1. There was uh, Tony Gwynn and Ray Ordonez is also in the set. And I had all three. I had them in a little frame thing that I made at home with my dad when I was a kid. I had the three cards together and all three were destroyed. So this is the only one worth hundreds, whereas the other one... Uh, like Tony and Ray, you can get for, I don't know, 20 bucks maybe. So, extremely happy about this one. And there's often some big quality issues with these since they were the first run. This one is actually in amazing condition, honestly. So, very, very happy about that. And then my last pickup was another autograph I needed, which this is also very, very, very hard to find and uh, cost too much. So, yeah. You guys notice I've been selling a lot and I actually linked my eBay, which I never do. This uh, grouping of cards is why. Because I went actually way over budget for the month in uh, purchasing, which is a lot of nasty things hit at once. And there's the price tag on it, obviously. Wanted a pretty firm amount there. And this is actually the limited one. The XBX Force is limited to 100, and that is hand numbered, as it should be. Number one of ten in the set, and this is a 1996 or 97, I think it's 97 SPX. So, the 400's on the case, that's not the number on the card. The card, obviously, is numbered on the back. So, anyway, I am extremely, extremely happy with my pickups, but yeah, that is why I'm selling right now, which I rarely do for all my other stuff. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Please comment, let me know what you thought of the cards. If you liked them, and if you didn't, then I'm sorry. I apologize. Feel free to unsubscribe. I apologize to you and your family. Take care.